Hello, good rising, good early, early rising, Leos. This is the Pretty Coach Oracles. Um, Naeem should come here, also Jude. And I'm coming to do a general love reading for you guys. This will be quick as I'm running through the signs and I'm doing very quick readings again this time. I see that. That was a little more um, helpful for everyone. So, yeah, I'm grateful for that. So, um, I'm going to hop into the reading because you guys did get a lot of energy. I am rolling with spirits, so whatever comes out, I'm going to mention it. But this is supposed to be a general love reading, you guys. So I'm going to start with the overall energy of the foundation cards that I pulled. And as far as the energy, like past, present, and future, I actually haven't been doing those types of things. I just listen to what spirit says. And so I'm going to under, I'm gonna take this as current energy, okay? As current energy. With current energy... I feel like I just have to say this with current energy, the past and what's coming is involved anyway. So moving on. The overall energy of the foundational cards is the two of wands energy. And the message that spirit gave me very clearly is that somebody has a decision between two people and therefore also two life paths. OK, so that's. Leo, that's what's really happening here for you guys, male or female, all right? Um, the wands energy is also fire energy. So this is about taking action. This is about what actions are you going to take? Um, um, who are you going to choose? Which path, which direction are you going to choose? What are you going to do? So that's also Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. So makes sense. That's the fire element showing up. The next card that came out, it was actually three cards that came out at the same time. So let me go ahead and put them all up together so that I can read um, the message that I feel like I clearly got from this. The vibe that I get from this when they first came out is that somebody is going to quickly receive some very passionate messages from someone um, about marriage, about a commitment. OK, um, yeah. This is a major arcana card in the first foundational reading. This is the, the Hierophant is about divine unions. It's also about a spiritual connection to me. Um, I don't even, I'm, what is going on, Jude? Where's your music? It's coming back. So yeah, it's about divine union, spiritual connections. Even though this, this one is pretty, this is pretty harsh here to me. This is about um, structure, order. This is about tradition. This is about societal pressures. Um, this is about what society deems as how things are supposed to go. OK, and I feel like and this is also Taurus energy. So you could be dealing with the earth sign or someone who has very heavy earth influences. OK, but what I was about to say was. Someone could have started off this way in a union and. I think that there could be a breakup or a separation and yeah, that changes. It shifts their perspective in this union may not be the case. This person could come back. Um, that's asking you to be back with them and they could still be this person who is about structure and order and doing things according to society or according to just any type of certain rules, whatever religious beliefs or whatever faiths that somebody has or just whatever order someone thinks that it should go in. They could still be that way. They could still be that way. But for me, the Hierophant card usually deals with the fact that whoever this is, is a spiritual leader. OK, but this person could have some very dominant energy. You know, so let's see, I forgot to mention that in the Aries reading, the nine of wands came up in the Aries reading, but I did get a, a message that was going to be similar to the one I'm about to say. But it also talks about a breakup for the purpose of coming back together. Like usually with the nine of wands energy, it's like. There was some agitation and aggravation that happened within the connection. And even with the way that you guys communicated, you had ideas that maybe were not totally in solidarity with one another. And so you guys could have decided, OK, well, we need to separate or we need to break up, you know, and maybe if these ideas change or if we get some changes or whatever, maybe we can work this out. Maybe we can come back together at a later time. That's also what showed up in the Aries card, the nine of wands. So I did want to say that. And that's the overall energy for the clarifying cards. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. 
So basically, the vibe I got from all three of these cards, you guys, is that somebody is going to be coming back. They're going to probably, communication is going to come in very quickly. I think they're going to have a different perspective. They're going to have gotten higher, okay, during this breakup or during this separation. They're going to have gotten a higher perspective about this commitment and this connection and they're going to be coming in very 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 quickly very passionately very determined with this cup of love they want to apologize you guys they want to apologize you know what i feel like for some of you guys this was um this is also Cancer Scorpio or Pisces energy. So this energy is somebody who's going to be actually sharing their feelings. They're going to be coming from their heart. Now here's the thing. You know, this person can come in very quickly, but just as fast as they come in, just as quickly as they show you their feelings, they can easily switch up. But um, that's not always the case, but it could be. Okay, so be prepared for that. Be prepared that this person could just be a smooth talker. Be prepared that this person could just be, um, you know, shit, wanting what they want. And so they're going to come in. They know that you're probably an emotional person and that you like when somebody comes from the heart. So they're going to come that way. OK, but I do feel like with the cars that are surrounding it, you guys, I do really feel like this person can genuinely mean whatever they're going to come in talking to you about. First and foremost, they're going to be apologizing about something. And I feel like I was about to say, I feel that they're going to apologize because they didn't choose you. They didn't choose you. They did not choose you. They chose something different. They chose someone else. They chose a different path. But something is going to happen. Or, and, and again, that may not be the case for everybody because we do have the clarifying card. So I'm going to hop into those really quick. But before I do, the clarifying energy for, I mean, not the clarifying energy, the overall energy for my clarifying cards is, again, like I said, the nine of wands. This energy is about giving it one last shot. Like, though I'm tired, though I'm beat up, though we don't always get along, though we argue because we have these differences of opinion and belief and we're both pretty strong, though we feel like we have been through hell and high water with one another, there's still passion here and I still want to stand. Like, I don't want to just let this go. So what do you say we give it another shot? What do you say? That might be the reading, guys. Oh, my God. Right up underneath this card is the Ten of Cups. Like, I think this person really loves you, Leo. And I feel like this person really, really, really thinks that they can have it all with you. They really see you as a person that they could possibly have it all with. Moving on. The first cards to come out... Um, I did clarify the original overall um, bottom of the deck card. And what I got was that it was a 10 of wands. So first of all, let's talk about all this damn fire energy in a fire sign reading. This is this is a lot of passion, you guys. This is a lot of fire. This is also even very much so a lot of romance, a lot of sexual attraction, a lot of chemistry between you guys. Okay? Y'all really feeling each other. This is not some shit that's like... Uh, this is like y'all are really feeling each other, but that also, but you're also very opinionated, very strong will, the both of you. So this could be the fact that you guys are dealing with, this could be two fire signs here. Maybe even more than one, maybe more, you know, there's a lot of fire here. Moving on, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, which makes sense because this is a Leo reading, right? Some of you guys could be dealing with a fellow Aries, a fellow Leo, or a Sagittarius, okay? But this has been a hard decision for this person like they feel like this choice that they have to make between two people between two whole life paths between what actions to take it's freaking hard it may even be like be to them like a burden and with these two deer in the background i do feel like something very spiritual is happening here guys because the deer is a very spiritual animal. First of all, all animals are spiritual. Let's just go there. But when I think about the deer, like in Native American um, Zodiac, deer are highly alert, very intuitive, instinctual as well. They can see through the darkness. They can see at night. They're very sweet animals for the most part, very loving, very gentle. Of course, they will fuck you up, though. I mean, 
if need be. I don't know why I feel the need to go there, but this could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that also has those types of qualities, though. Very wise, intuitive. With that moon being back there, that they could have cancer very prevalent in their chart, which is what makes them intuitive. Or, in fact, mommy issues could be present. Why this decision is so hard. It's just, it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit. But this has been a very hard decision for them. But I do think that they're going to make it. Maybe like when if, when it comes to some of you guys who your person didn't choose you between two people, um, that could have been a hard ass decision for them to make. They could have seen you as a burden at the time or just the whole idea of making the decision all together was something that they didn't want to have to do. But when they had to think about it, they did decide to choose to go away from you. And it was a hard ass choice. The reason I say that is because, again, they're sending you messages. It's like you guys may not be communicating with each other or you may be at a distance from one another, okay? But the other reason I feel like it was because they didn't choose you was when I was clarifying the Eight of Wands energy, energy the Justice card came out. So what I got from that is that mm -hmm, some truth came out about the other person that they chose over you. That's what happened. Some truth then came out. And, it, and it's not even just about the other person that they chose over you. It's about their own thoughts, their own emotions, okay? Some truth came out. Clarity is here with this sun, this sun right here. Clarity is here and it's going to bring them balance, balance between their emotions and logic, balance between the emotions and logic. Justice is a card about revelation. It is a card about fairness. It is a card about balance. Somebody could be dealing with someone with a Libra and Leo. So this could be a Leo, Libra rising or a Libra. Leo rising, whatever the case, Leo is somewhere in your chart. This is, I'm sorry guys, I didn't say that. Um, this reading is for Leo, sun, moon, Virgo. I mean, why did I say Virgo? This reading is for Leo, sun, moon, Venus, north node, rising. Um, shit, anywhere Leo is in your chart, this could resonate for you, okay? But basically, some type of truth has been revealed about the Leo in this person's life who got Libra somewhere. Or the Libra, however you read it, however it resonates with you. Truth has been revealed about you to this person, and that's why they're communicating with you. And I feel like they're not going to be looking at this with natural eyes. I do think that this is going to be a spiritual decision. They're going to become enlightened. And I feel like this is also going to come from a pure place. So these messages that they're going to be sending you guys is going to be truthful. It's going to be true. It's going to be coming from a true ass, real ass, pure ass place in them. They might be talking about how they realize that you're the one. And I realize that you're, you're really all I ever wanted. You're everything that I ever wanted. In every way, like emotionally, spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are who I want to be with. I fucked up. I fucked up. Maybe it was because I was scared. Whatever the case is, some type of truth is going to be revealed. And for you, Leo, um, or for you, Libra, or wherever this is in your chart, this Leo reading is going to resonate for you. You're going to be like, I knew it. Like, I knew that already. Or you're going to be, you're going to have like this. <sighs> you're going to have this huge ass sigh of relief because they're telling you the truth and you feel it and you know it. Moving on, you guys, I got um, two cards, I think. Yeah, two cards came out to clarify this Knight of Cups. And remember, I'm saying that the Knight of Cups is an apology, okay? This is the Sun card, guys. That's about, this is going to surely happen. This is surely going to happen. Um, this could be with a Leo. This apology could be coming to a Leo or it could be coming 
from a Leo, but nevertheless, an apology is coming or this, this, this Leo, um, is going to come. They're going to be the one giving you messages about how they feel about you, about why they love you and why they want to offer, um, you this cup of love. Now, um, the page of swords can deal with the fact that, um, this person still could be somewhat immature. But that's not the message I got. The overall message I got is that the message is coming in to you. Somebody is going to be coming in and they could be taking their time because they could be shy. Um, they could be unsure of themselves for whatever reason. Maybe it's just, I don't know how this is going to go. But they're, I feel like they're kind of battling themselves like, damn, should I say something? Should I not say something? I really want to say something. I'm shit. I'm going to go for it. And when they start messaging you or when they come to you and they talk to you, it may kind of seem like they're stumbling over their words and they're all over the place. They could be kind of blunt. They could say things in a way that you're like, damn, you ain't got no filter. Or could you have, not, could you have said, like, I feel like, they're not, it's not going to be like this idealistic, romantic communication. It's going to be like direct, blunt, to the point. They may even tell you like, I don't really know how to say this, but, and I'm sorry this is over my 15 minute mark, but damn. So I got to mush, I got to go faster. So yeah, but the page of swords is also going to be somebody who's going to be watching you. So somebody who's going to shit and if, if they're not spying on you or they're not watching you through your social media accounts or whatever they could be rereading the communications that you guys have had in the past you know whatever communication that you have they're going to be looking at it and going over it with this sun card here i really feel like a lot of healing emotionally is going to have taken place for this person a lot of clarity is going to have taken place for this person and this is the reason that they're even coming in they're going to tell you that you are the one that makes my soul happy you make me happy leo you make me happy and i want to be with you and this is going to be like a message that your ass has been waiting to hear this is also going to make you happy because you're a Leo or somewhere in your chart. This is definitely resonating with me. Now, like I said, I mean, shit. Either you could have the choice between two people, Leo, or that male energy, the masculine man or whatever in your life that you're dealing with, or the masculine energy is going to be the one who's got these decisions that they've had to make, okay? The last and final card, the Hierophant card, was clarified by the Eight of Swords in reverse. For me, this is all about them getting out of their head. I feel like they have been wrestling with this. They could have been emotionally manipulated or, excuse me, emotionally and therefore mentally manipulated by somebody else, by the other party, period. And that could have had them stuck. And if it wasn't by the other person, their own thoughts about the way a marriage should go, their own thoughts about who they are in a marriage. And they're supposed to be this person of authority and they're supposed to be able to make all the rules. And it's supposed to be the way that they say that goes. All that shit. It's been turned upside down and they're coming out of that. It's been a mental block for them. It's been a whole block for them to experience love. And I think that that could be something that they come into, they come to realize too. Like, fuck, like this is not the first time that this has happened for me. I feel like this Taurus person is a person who's loyal, whoever this energy is, this one that's trying to be controlling and stuff in a relationship. Like they're a loyal person, probably to a fault, just like us Leos. I'm a Leo sun and moon. Um, but anyways, what I'm trying to say is I feel like they've done this before. They're a person of long-term commitments is what I'm trying to say. Every relationship that they've been in has been long, right? They may have perceived it to be a union. Every one of them, they're just a person about commitment. So this is not their first rodeo, but I feel like they've been doing it like this with this cracking a whip and shit and using the Bible as their reason for being the way that they are, which has been ignorant. Like, no, like... They didn't done this one too many times. And I think that this relationship is going to change that for them. The one that they had with you is going to change that whole perspective and it's going to unblock them. Okay. This also can deal with an unforeseen death, but for some reason, I just don't get that vibe. Like I don't see it ending like somebody about to die. Don't mean that it won't happen. I always like to give the meanings of the cards. This can, you know, talk about an unforeseen fatality 
But that's really not the vibe I get. I get that this person is going to be coming out of their mental block, point blank in the period. And when they do, they know who they're marrying. And that's you. Shit, that might be the title of this. At, at that point, this is the end of the reading, Leo. Thank you guys for watching it till this far. I appreciate it. Um, if you ever want to book a personal reading, you can do so at thepreettycoachoracles.com. I love you guys with the love of the most high. Shalom.